Our next topic is cell reselections. Cell reselection is the mobility solution for UE in the RRC idle and RRC inactive states. In the case of RRC idle, a UE can complete cell reselections without informing the network as long as the UE remains within a registered tracking area. The UE is responsible for acquiring SIB1 after each cell reselection to determine whether or not the UE remains located within a registered tracking area. The UE completes a NAS registration procedure with the AMF after moving into an unregistered tracking area. In the case of RRC inactive, a UE can complete cell reselections without informing the network as long as the UE remains within the allocated RAN notification area. A base station allocates a RAN notification area when moving a UE from RRC connected to RRC inactive using the RRC release message. The UE is responsible for acquiring SIB1 after each cell reselection to determine whether or not the UE remains located within the allocated RAN notification area. The UE completes an RRC resume procedure with cause value RNA update after moving outside the allocated RAN notification area. Intrafrequency and equal priority interfrequency. Ranking is applicable to intrafrequency cell reselection and equal priority interfrequency cell reselection. It is not applicable to intersystem cell reselection because intersystem layers cannot be allocated an equal priority. The UE ranks all cells which satisfy the cell selection S criteria presented in cell selection procedure. Ranking is completed using the R criteria which is shown on the screen. Ranking is always completed using RSRP measurements. RS and RN are calculated using cell level measurements rather than beam level measurements. QHIST is broadcast within SIB2. In the case of intrafrequency neighboring cells, Q offset is defined by Q offset cell broadcast within SIB3. In the case of interfrequency neighboring cells, Q offset is defined as the sum of Q offset cell and Q offset frequency broadcast within SIB4. Offsets which are excluded from the SIB are assumed to have a value of 0 decibel. Cell specific offsets for intrafrequency cell reselection should be applied with care because they can lead to a UE camping on a cell which is not the normal best server. In this case, the UE is likely to generate increased levels up uplink interference towards the normal best server and may experience increased levels of downlinks interference from the normal best server. Q offset temp S Q offset temp S is defined by the value of connection establishment failure offset within the connection establishment failure control section of SIB1. The temporary offset is applied if the UE experiences repetitive connection setup failures caused by T300 expiring, that is, the UE does not receive an RRC setup nor RRC reject message after sending an RRC setup request. The temporary offset is applied for a period of time T if T300 expires for n consecutive connection setup attempts where T is equal to connection establishment failure offset validity and N is equal to connection establishment failure count. The temporary offset reduces the cell ranking so makes the cell less attractive. Q offset temp S is applied if the UE has had connection setup attempt failures on the serving cell whereas Q offset temp N is applied if the UE has previously had setup attempt failures on the neighboring cell and the connection establishment failure offset validity timer is still running. If range to best cell is not broadcast by SIB2, then cell reselection is completed. If a neighboring cell is ranked higher than the current serving cell during a time period defined by T reselection 
and if more than 1 second has passed since the ue camped on the current serving cell t reselection for intra frequency cells is broadcast in sib2 whereas t reselection for inter frequency cells is broadcast in sib4 If range to base cell is broadcast by SIB2 then the cell reselection procedure accounts for both the ranking and the beam level measurements the UE identifies the highest ranked cell and then defines a threshold which is range to base cell below the ranking of that highest ranked cell any cells which have a ranking below than threshold are then excluded for the remaining cells The UE counts the number of beams which exceed ABS threshold SS blocks consolidation. The cell with the highest count is then categorized as the best cell. Cell reselection is completed if a neighboring cell has been categorized as the best cell during the time period defined by T reselection and if more than 1 second has passed since the UE camped on the current serving cell For example, illustrated in the figure, cell two is categorized as the best cell because its ranking is greater than the range to best cell threshold, and it has two beams which exceed ABS threshold SS blocks consolidation. Here I conclude this topic. Hope you understand all the concepts clearly. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section Thank you for watching do like and subscribe to our videos So what are you waiting for join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon Also if you like our videos don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos